Hey guys, I hope you're well. So this is an extended version um, or an extension to the 8-8 Lionsgate portal reading, which I did uh, on Rumble. It's on Rumble. Um, I will leave the link in the description below if you did not see that. But the reason I wanted to do the extension, and I wasn't planning on doing it, but uh, you know, it is going to be a Locals um, exclusive, um, is because, first of all, let me say that you got all four aces. I believe in the reading, I said that you got three aces, but well, if you look at the video, you got all four. I don't know why I didn't catch that and I only caught three, but I think part of the reason was because um, the Ace of Pentacles, which is what came out in the near future, and this is what we're going to dive into, by the way. Uh, it came out in the near future position, and it came clarified with the magician. And I think because it's uh, more materialistic than sort of emotional and moody and, and mental, um, I think that's why I kind of bypassed it a little bit. Also, um, I didn't... I bypassed it in the sense that I didn't call it call it out as all four aces, but I didn't bypass it in terms of reading for it because I spoke of, you know, when it comes to this, this is serious financial abundance right here. Serious, serious, serious. And I feel that I didn't dive into that enough. Now, this can represent other types of abundance too, for sure. It doesn't only have to be financial, but that will be the main focus in this reading. Um, because trust me, it makes sense to, we spoke about everything else um, in a lot more detail in the initial first reading. But in this extension, I'm gonna focus on um, the abundance of finances. Now, if other things do show up, yes, I will address it, right? Um, so, you know, I will address it, but we're gonna focus on the material aspect here. Um, again, I remind you, you got all four aces. You've got new love coming in. This can touch upon that as well, okay? The ace of pentacles, it can. Um, again, I still think it's going to be more materialistic than anything else. Um, you've got new love coming in, new passion, new desire, whether that desire gears uh, specifically towards a new love relationship, which I think it does, but that ace of wands, which was in your outcome, and again, you had all four aces, um, can have a lot to do with um, entrepreneurialism for some of you. Um, also, the ace of wands mostly refers to, in your initial reading, the fact that your mojo, your lust for life is returning. It's as if something is breathing the breath of life into you, you know? Um, which is indeed what happens at the start of, of birth, you know? Um, kind of almost literally and certainly uh, spiritually. So... Of course, we have the the we had the Ace of Swords, which is about incredible mental clarity, specifically in the realm of relationships, but specifically in the arena of heartbreaking relationships. You're starting to understand why they happened. Okay, you're starting to understand what it was supposed to teach you that heartache. And we saw the incredible, I can't even believe how those cards came out. If you did not see that reading, go see it. Um, again, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, if you are catching this preview on, uh, if you're watching this on Locals, this is the whole reading. If you're catching this on uh, YouTube or Rumble, this is a, you're only watching a preview of it. A preview of this full reading. We're basically in the in the beginning here. I'm basically sort of recapping elements of the 
um, initial reading. So um, if you are watching the preview, in the description below will also be not just the initial first reading, which is completely available to everyone, you don't have to be on Locals, um, but it will also have the Locals link to the full version of this reading, which again, we're going to be focusing on, on more of the material, material aspect. Um, and then, of course, you got the Ace of Cups, which you had that in your subconscious mind, the position of your subconscious mind, or um, the root of the situation, or what other readers may call, um, you can call, call it a few different things, the foundation of the reading. Um, and that is really good and really fantastic to have it in that position specifically, um, because... Well, you're not to get to, you know, um, uh, uh, psychology doctor ish, you know what I mean? But um, your subconscious mind wins every time. And the fact that you have that in your subconscious mind, well, you have basically either got a new relationship blossoming or um, it will be very, very, very soon. It is in your another way to read that position. The foundation of the reading um, is. Um, your destiny. So you have the Ace of Cups in your destiny. Okay. I uh, can also speak of, de we're definitely speaking of new love. I mean, psychically speaking. Um, by the way, note, note, you know, when you are truly spiritual, you merge both the logical and um, spiritual mind or the logical mind and the spiritual soul, however you want to term that. So note how psychology and psychic are words that um, share the same root, okay? Just thought I'd point that out. Um, so really, you know, um, when you know what you're doing, science is not opposed to spirituality and spirituality is not opposed to science. When you know what you're doing with that. And this is, again, in the old times where Atlantis failed and you know, so on and, and so forth. And they could not merge um, science and technology well with spirituality. It is never supposed to um, surpass spirituality. They're supposed to uh, work together for a certain um, type of, let's say, society, um, at least when it comes to a physical world society. But the truth is that spirituality is ultimate and... Um, um, is, you know, above all. Um, anyway, though, um, Ace of Cups in your foundation. So we're talking about incredible new self-love that you are. But see, it's all in the reading, though. It's not just self-love because, oh, yes, now I'm entering a chapter or an era of self-love. No, the reading explains why you're doing it. It's because you got the Ace of Swords as well. The Ace of Swords is... Mm, because you got the understanding of why past relationships happened that didn't work out well, that understanding then segues into self-love. And now you know how to do self-love. Not to mention that that Ace of Swords also, t it, you know, is about, um, is about, for a lot of you, a, 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 a a closure that comes with either a person or various persons which have basically broken your heart in the past or something didn't turn out right that uh, ended up in heartbreak, you know? Um, um, you know, uh, because sometimes it's not specifically that a person broke your heart, uh, but it can be more that something didn't work out and the fact that it didn't work out with the person that broke your heart, if it isn't directly that the person broke your heart. So whichever one, whichever category, maybe it's both in, you know, some ways. Maybe it's both in the way of that that person did both and the situation hurt you. Or maybe it's that some people hurt you directly and in other cases, other people didn't hurt you directly, but the situation didn't work out and that hurt you. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, it could be one or the other or a combination of both. Um, there is that closure with those people or a person. And because, you know, you can't really have closure until you have some level of understanding and the understanding is there. So congratulations. 
you know? Um, then again, you got the Ace of Wands. Because all this understanding happens, because all of this self-love is now taking place, all of a sudden, there's the Ace of Wands, the return of your mojo, the return of your lust for life. You'll want to live again. Instead of being a um, whining starseed, and actually, I'm not making fun of starseeds when I say that. It's, it's very common for starseeds to do this, whining about going home. I want to go home. I want to go home. And ultimately, yes, that is what you want to do. That is the goal. You know, most of you starseeds or who are starseeds, um, you guys specifically, you're going home after this lifetime. That's it. You came here to fulfill a duty, whatever. Um, but, um, but while you're here, it isn't a bad thing to actually want to be here as opposed to whining about wanting to go home. And you're going to step into a new era or you have stepped into a new era. It's like, shit, I want to be here. And this is pretty fun. I want to be here. It'll be great when I go home, but while I'm here, I want to be here, you know? And of course you want to be here, especially most of you are going to be falling in love soon or you have fallen in love and it's a whole new chapter. And when that happens, you know, love is so powerful, makes you want to stick around, makes you want to be here. Um, but I feel the one that didn't get enough attention because I did talk about um, huge financial opportunities coming in. Um, is the Ace of Pentacles is the one I feel that didn't get enough attention. And I did talk about it, but let's talk about it in detail because I think it deserves to be talked about in that way. So, um, yeah, um, let's begin. And if you are on YouTube and Rumble watching this preview, again, link is in the description uh, below for the full version um, of this reading um, on Locals. Um, so if you're already on Locals, let's go ahead and begin.